Hello, friends. I'm Jay Todd. That's the High Roller, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. Hello, friends. With the Memorial Day holiday almost upon us, some of you may be headed to Las Vegas for the long weekend. And if so, chances are you're going to pay more for this trip than you did for your last trip. And that is this week's big story. Las Vegas has always had gambling and shows and Pretty nice weather for golfing, but over the years, they've also added world-class restaurants, great entertainment, and even professional sports teams. After a while, those things start to add up. Of course, bigger and better events means bigger and better venues, like the brand new MSG Sphere that was just built, and professional sports teams means you need to build professional sports stadiums, and let's not forget about the F1 race that's coming to Las Vegas this fall. That is already resulting in all sorts of new and improved infrastructure around the city. All those things add up too. Now, when you add all of these things together, you get what some Las Vegas gambling executives are calling a better average customer. And what is a better average customer? <laughs> My friends, a better average customer is simply what these executives call anyone who's willing to spend more on shows, travel, hotels, food, everything and they love them. In fact, recently, Tom Reich, the CEO of Caesars Entertainment, said that Las Vegas has changed from the days when you could get a steak and lobster dinner for a couple of bucks, and that world-class restaurants and entertainment, as well as the addition of professional sports teams and events like the Formula One race, are bringing in what he calls a higher level of clientele to the city. Reige then adds that these higher value customers are, and I quote, kicking out the lowest end, and he sees no reason that needs to stop. So, the days of Vegas on a budget may be behind us, especially if executives like Mr. Reige get their way. But if you are headed to Sin City for Memorial Day, there's still no shortage of things to do. Whether you want to lie by the poolside all day and hit the clubs all night, or take in a concert from one of these performers, our friends at Casino City have you covered. They've got details on what's happening in Vegas for Memorial Day and beyond. Simply visit online.casinocity.com or just follow the link that I've left for you in this video's descriptive area. And finally this week, I'm sure that by now most of you know legendary rock group U2 is going to open the MSG Sphere in Las Vegas this September. In fact, demand for tickets has been so high that the band extended their stay all the way into December. At this point, they may never leave. However, once U2 has made enough money and decides that it's time to move along, rumor has it that Harry Styles has already been offered $50 million to be the next act in residence at the Sphere. Ironically, the remaining members of One Direction will also be in town at that time. They're playing the Armada Room at the Holiday Inn in Henderson. Tickets for that show are still available. Happy, happy, joy, joy.